In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to deallocate the doubly linked list. So remember, here we have mallocs, malloc calls everywhere, and we have no free calls. So we have memory leaks everywhere uh, for every single node here. And what we'd like to do is have a function that deallocates the whole list for us, right? Calls free on every single node if we give it, for example, the head and the tail. So let's start here with a function. Let's say void deallocate. So deallocate, uh, I need a node double pointer, first our tail, right? That's the beginning of our doubly linked list. And then a node double pointer to our head as well, right? Why a node dou double pointer? Well, remember, we have these pointers inside our main function or our the function that is going to be using these uh, doubly linked lists. Since they are pointers, they have addresses, right? They have values inside of them. But if we deallocate the whole list, I wouldn't like to have this be still an address to that place in memory because that place in memory has been deallocated. It's we don't have access to it anymore. So I'd like to set it to null once we're done. And to set a pointer's value to null, well, we need a pointer to that. Right, so that means we need double pointer to node here and here. So basically the same, the same exact argument as we've had before for every single linked list function that uh, changes either the tail or head. So in memory, this is how our doubly linked list would look like, right? We have one that's its next pointer is three and we have three where its next pointer is seven but its previous pointer is uh, one and then seven where its previous pointer is three and next pointer is null and of course one's previous pointer is also null how would you go about deallocating this list right you cannot just deallocate the uh, head or tail because if you deallocate the head or tail, something like this, it would only deallocate this node itself. And just that it wouldn't automatically see that, oh, there's a pointer and then it's going to deallocate these ones. So these guys, if we, if we deallocate the tail of our list, we are left with the rest of the nodes not being deallocated. So we have to deallocate them as well. How should we go about doing this? With a doubly linked list, this stuff is much easier and can be done without any auxiliary pointers uh, during iteration. What we can do is, first things first, start at the second node. All right, so if we start here, we can say we want to deallocate from here where our iteration is, we want to deallocate the previous node. Right? This is basically what we were doing with singly linked lists. But back then we didn't have a pointer there, but now guess what? We have this guy, right? We have this little pointer that actually helps a ton right now. So <clears throat> in here, we deallocate this guy and then well, what can we do? We can move forward. Moving forward at seven, we can deallocate again the previous guy. So deallocating three. And well, since we cannot move any further, we get out of the loop and outside the loop, we simply deallocate seven, which is our current node that we have iterated with, right? So we still have that inside memory. And as you can see, this doesn't require any more auxiliary pointers. We don't have to have both the current and uh, the previous pointer. Right, we just have to have the current and that current already has a uh, pointer to the previous node, right? So we can make use of it and this way we're going to deallocate the whole list without having any auxiliary pointers. So let's get to implementing it. First, we're going to need a current pointer. So to iterate over the whole list, so node current equals, I'm going to initialize it as being the tail, right? So dereference tail once, um, but you're going to see why I'll be doing that in just a moment, because I did say in here that we're going to start from the second point, uh, from, from the second node, just a second. Next up, we need a while loop. So I'm going to say a while. And what's our exit condition this time? Well, our exit condition is, as I said, I want to get out of the while loop with our current pointer being the last node. How or what is the exit condition for that? Well, that's 
basically when current arrow next is null. If current arrow next is null, we know that's the last pointer. Okay, so we can do current arrow next is not null. While that's not null, we can do whatever we want here. All right, so that's the that's the exit condition. And I'm going to actually start by iterating forward. Because as I said, I want to start uh, freeing from the second node. So I'm going to say here, current equals current arrow next. Since we know current arrow next is not null, we can move forward without checking anymore if our uh, node is nothing. At this step, we are like after this line of code, we are at the second node, we started the second node. So at the second node, what we want to do is deallocate the first node. At our third node, we want to deallocate the second node and so on and so forth. So simple enough, all we have to do is free current arrow previous, right? This is what we've drawn in here. This is current arrow previous, this is our pointer and we are on the second uh, node or the third node. So once we've done that, we can simply check if we still have uh, nodes to move forward to, move forward to them and free those pointers and so on and so forth. We don't need any more auxiliary pointers, which is amazing. And we don't have to actually do any more checks aside from the while uh, loops check. And now at the end here, as I said, we have to free the current pointer because if we're out of this while loop, that means that this expression is false. So that means that current arrow next is null. That means that we are on the last node. So we want to free that memory. So we're going to say free of current. And lastly, what we want to do is set both tail and head to be null. So we're going to say here, dereference tail once and set it to be null. And also the reference head once and set it to be null, right? We have this pointer somewhere mem in memory and we want to set them to zero to denote that we don't have anything in that doubly linked list. But what if our doubly linked list is already empty? Well, that means that our code is not going to work due to the fact that we are already trying to dereference it right here. So we're going to have to provide a check here. So if tail is null, then you can probably just return. We don't really have to check if head is null because if tail is null, 100% head is also null. So this is everything that we have to have in order to actually deallocate the uh, memory. Now we can call the function right here. So we can say deallocate of our, well, not just a tail here because that's just a pointer to node we want the address of that pointer so that we can set it to null once we deallocate, right? So we want the address of tail and of course the address of head, exactly the same thing. And that's all there is to deallocating uh, our double linked list. So if we add here the memory leak detection uh, program, if we try to run it with the deallocate function commented, you'll notice that inside the output I'm getting here uh, detected memory leaks and it prints out three blocks of 24 bytes. And those 24 bytes are basically our nodes, right? We have eight bytes here, we have eight bytes here, and we have four bytes here, and then four more bytes for padding. So we have 24 in total. And then we have three nodes, of course, because we have one, three, and seven as the nodes. But if we uncomment this and run it, you'll notice no more issues here and everything works nicely. So as you can see, deallocating a double linked list is easier. So I hope you understood how the algorithm works. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.